Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We have got everyone's favorite boatless angler with us today. We've got Antonio with us today. Hi everybody. And he's holding up a real nice rainbow trout and on today's show Antonio's going to show us his skills and show us how easy it is to clean a trout. Where are you going to start? So today we're going to be cleaning this trout and we're going to have one fillet for barbecuing and one fillet is going to be for baking. Um, but what you can do, I'm not going to do it today, but you can also scale a trout. And you can use a dull knife like this and you can see the scales are coming off quite easy. Um, so that's also an option, but today we're not going to scale it. We're going to leave scales on because we're going to eventually skin it. So, um, so you're gonna you would scale it only if you want to leave the skin on. If you're gonna eat the skin, is right. when you would scale it. Like okay. If you're gonna barbecue, you can leave the skin on and just, you know, you can even burn the skin. You're not gonna eat it, so okay. it doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, only if you're gonna eat the skin would I scale it. Okay. So for today's purposes, we're not gonna scale it. Uh, so we're just gonna start by cutting just behind the gill plate here, and I cut a little bit on an angle because there's a lot of meat in there. A lot of people cut straight down, and you lose quite a bit of meat. So. A little bit on an angle there, just behind the head. And here you can see what we like to do is you want to just stay underneath the skin. And it's always good to cut away from yourself. <laughs> That's a good, good habit to get into. Yeah. So the skin on a trout is actually kind of thick. So um, just, just try to cut just the skin. If you start cutting the meat, it's going to be tough to fillet. So you can see just the tip of the knife is in the skin. And right there, you can just see that I just cut the skin on the top, just like that. So, sorry that I'm turning the fish, I want you guys to be able to see. So just at the top here, there's a small little incision under the skin, and that's where it's gonna be your guide for your knife. So the trout has a backbone that comes straight out the center, so we're gonna run our knife along that to start. How's that knife, good and sharp, Antonio? I think it's a little too sharp. <laughs> That's a good point because you have to be careful when you're doing what Antonio's doing right now that you don't actually cut through the backbone. Right. Right? Exactly. You want to run along those bones, not through them. So you can see here, I actually may have done just that. Did you cut through? A little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. So what you do, if you cut through it, you can kind of feel where you've done that and just get on the opposite side of it there just like I've done there. Because not only is that a sharp knife but it's also a very thin blade which makes it real easy. So so near the tail, there's, trout have a really thick spine so I tend to come to the spine over the top and back underneath. If you go straight across like you can do with some smaller fish you'll waste a lot of meat. Yeah, because that spine kind of comes up like a like a little uh, ridge, like a mountain, right? Exactly. So you're going up one side and then right back down the other. So once you reach the rib cage, there's actually um, a row of bones that come actually straight out towards the skin here, the lateral line. So there's rows of bones that come straight up. Pin, so, pin bones. Pin bones, yeah. So what it, you can cut through them like that and you can remove those later. So if you don't cut through them, you're not gonna be able to get to the rib cage. But we've done, we've cut through them and now we're going along the rib cage here. Going all the way down. And I think this is a female, so the another thing that we wanted to do is see if it had eggs so that we can bring it fishing for next time to catch more trope. I see some eggs and there. It looks like there's some eggs that we can use, which is great. They make, uh, we tie those in the row bags. That makes a great bait for catching salmon and other trout. So you can see here, I'm, I'm at the, pretty much the belly here. Uh, there's a lot of belly meat. Um, you can, what I tend to do is, is just don't really keep that. I kind of leave it there. And there it is one full trout fillet. You can see here there's not much meat left. Here's where I cut through the spine. To the other side. <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> but you can see it, it's easy to, to correct that and it's not a big deal. Boy, nice job Antonio. All I see are bones there. Yeah. No meat at all. You got every bit of meat out of there. And the reason you stay away from that belly meat is because if there's any 
contaminants in the fish, it's going to be settled in the belly meat, yes. right? Yes. Um, since we have these eggs, I can show you how to take the eggs out. Well, this is a bonus, Antonio. Yeah, this is, this is really bonus. Okay. So, yeah, it, basically it's just one tendon here, or, or one sack of eggs. There's usually a sack on both sides, but not always. This one seems to have two sacks. And it's connected right behind the head. So you can run your hand until you feel where it's connected. You can see here there's this tendon here. Let's cut that. We've got roe for fishing. Or caviar. Or caviar. Right? It's, yeah, very, it's yeah. very edible and a lot of people do eat them. So if you happen to have a trout that way, you can definitely uh, make caviar. And there's the other side right there. Beautiful. Okay. So that's... Now you would do the same thing to the other side, Correct. obviously, right? Yeah. Okay, but you're not going to do that today? Not for today's video, no. So All I'll right. put the fish actually in the sink here. I mean, you're going to do it, but once the video's over. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're not going to waste that meat. This is a beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Beautiful meat on that trout. So this one's for you. This one's for me, and what I like to do is I want to bake this in the oven, so I'm probably I'm probably gonna cut it, and I would probably cut it into three sections. Okay, so that's what we can do, and I can give you guys a little bit of a tip on how to take skin off of a trout. Skin trout, like I said, the skin on the trout is, is pretty thick, um, so it's pretty easy, but if you know you're gonna chunk it. Well, I'm, I'm definitely gonna chunk it. Okay, and you said three pieces. Yeah. So uh, just another thing here, you can hear on the knife those pin bones that came out. What you can do uh, is you can take pliers, you can pull each one. Um, they're actually really hard to it. pull. Yeah, I can't <laughs> get one by hand, but but yeah, you just get a pair of pliers and pluck yeah. those out. Or you can take the lazy way and cook it and, and pluck, pluck them out of your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so since you're going to chunk it into three, a, a good trick for skinning a fish is it makes it easier if you know you're going to chunk it is you can do one chunk at a time. Oh, I see. So as opposed to taking the skin off the whole filet, you're, yeah. you're going to chunk it right up front and exactly. it's, it's much easier to remove the, the skin. So Good tip. I like it. You said three chunks, right? Three chunks. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Very nice. So I cut a little bit deep there. This knife is really sharp. <laughs> But you do want to work with a sharp knife, right? Yeah, like, oh yeah. And that's it. Oh. Beautiful. Right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel those bones right there. But that's going to make for a nice dinner tonight right there. I'm going to bake those in the oven. we got a nice recipe, actually. I could even link to that recipe. Uh, you could check it out for sure. Okay, now that you've done that, we're going to share one more tip, eh? Yeah. I see right on this tail piece, Hopefully you can see that, folks. There's that little bit of white there, and that white is uh, is fat. And again, we talked about contaminants, Antonio. We could easily remove that, right? Yep, and that's generally what we do. Uh, we trim them up. Get rid of that fat, because again, if there's any contaminants, it'll be in the belly or it'll be in the fat. There we go, that's nice and trimmed and cleaned. Wow, fantastic demo, Antonio. As always, master, uh, you're a master at fish cleaning and appreciate you taking time and showing us uh, how to clean a trout. Now you could use this for any trout. This happened to yep. be a rainbow, but you could yep. do it on any trout. Lake trout, yeah, any trout. Any trout. Browns, it all works. Yeah. So one method, good for all trout. Right. Fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode, folks. If you get an opportunity and you catch yourself a trout, bring it home and have some good table fare for the family. We're gonna enjoy our meal tonight, I know it. Thanks again, Antonio, and thank you folks for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck.